Welcome back. Now is the time in the show in which we usually preview our next opponent, but obviously no game this week. So we're going to check in on the Aggies by the numbers. It's still brought to you by Bud Light, the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. Well, where do you start when it comes to the digits the Ags are putting up? How about here? A&M as a team has scored over 40 points in their last eight games, easily a school record. Coach Summon stresses it that you know, we have all the talent that we need to go out and, and win every game. The biggest thing is that we can't beat ourselves, um, especially from an offensive point of view. I think that, that really holds true because you know if we don't get stupid penalties or turn the ball over, we're going to go down and score. And Many say that Johnny Manziel is better this year than last. Statistics would bolster that argument or at least tell you that he's more productive. Last year, Johnny led A&M to a score on 58% of the drives he quarterbacked. This season, that figure is up as he's QB'd the Ags to a score 65% of the time. He's been on the field for 46 drives, 30 of them leading to points. The Aggies are still throwing the first punch, scoring on their opening possession in four of five games. They've taken the initial lead in 17 of Coach Sumlin's 18 games as head coach. I wish have a good game plan. Uh, coaches do a great job of trying to put us in good positions early, and we just come out and try and execute. We want to start fast and finish strong. Mike Evans, magnificent 24.7 yards per reception. The FBS record for yards per catch for players who caught more than 50 passes in one season is 24.4, set by Henry Ellert of Fresno State in 1982, 31 years ago. Mike will likely get to 50 catches this season. Can he keep up the pace to set the record? The other side of the ball, DeShazer Everett. He can match Evans in the big play department, having a hand in three game changers in the last four contests. Every day I go out, I just want to make plays. So I, I, I can't say I have the knack for it, but I have the want to. I definitely want to make big plays every time I'm on the field. The defense hasn't necessarily been lights out, but I will say this, they have made some very key stops ranking in the top 50 nationally in red zone defense and in the top 25 in turnovers gained. A&M will be just fine if they keep that up. Finally, Drew Kayser has kicked his way onto the scene. Kayser doesn't have enough punts to rank nationally among individuals, but the Aggies as a team rank 19th in net punting. So there's a look at the Ags by the numbers during the bye week.